Hey, what's going on? So today is November 1st, and that means that my plow contracts are due. So I am going to start going through them all and separating them and getting them all uh, organized and ready for the season and see who's paid and who hasn't and all that stuff. So I wanted to share a little bit about the behind the scenes of plowing, the bookkeeping kind of side. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about my plowing contract, my pricing. I'm gonna go over the spreadsheets that I've made that help me kind of keep track of everybody and how I figure out all of this stuff and keep track of it all year long. <laughs> so if there's any of this stuff that you want more information about, you want me to do a separate video on or anything like that, just let me know down in the comments section and I'll be sure to get back to you or make a video about it. So the first thing I wanna talk about is pricing. Now I've made a couple other videos on pricing and I've gotten some really, uh, I don't know how to describe it, the comments that I get, but people basically say that I'm way undercharging. I should be charging two times, three times, four times more than I am. And it's just not gonna happen in my area. I know that I'm one of the most expensive guys in town. I also try to provide a very high level of service. So I know that that comes at a cost. Um, I have some extras that I include, uh, the driveway markers, I include reflective driveway stakes. And if I do any lawn damage, I clean that up in the spring. It's all included in my price. Um, so that being said, my pricing here is a supply and demand thing. So I'm higher than most people, but I'm gonna be maybe lower than where you are, maybe higher than where you are. It really depends. So this is not like a one size fits all across the country or across the world. Moving on. All right, so I've got my first spreadsheet up here. This it was just a spreadsheet that I made to kind of show how I figure out my pricing, uh, how this year I figured it out because it was they were less expensive last year. My base price was 18. This year it went up to 20, as you'll see right here. So a one to four car driveway. I charge a base price of 20. That's the cheapest I'm gonna do it for this year. Uh, there are guys in my town doing driveways for 12 to $15 for their starting price. So I, I know I'm gonna get comments saying that $20 is too cheap. You won't drop your blade for less than 50. I get comments like that still on a video I did last year, but I'm telling you $20 is high for a starting price in this town. Now, if there's any like turnarounds or anything weird, I'll add another five bucks on or something but that generally just bumps you up to the next uh, thing. So if it's a one, if it's a four car driveway with a turnaround, that just bumps you up to here anyway. So this is kind of null and void. And then if I do shoveling, I'm gonna charge $5 this year. Gravel cleanup's gonna be $5 this year. Uh, that's per time. So that adds up for seasonal. Seasonal is you take the total number and you multiply by 27. So again, this depends on where you are in the country, how much snow you get, but the high average snowfall, we plow 27 times in a year. This is what a bunch of plow guys that I know kind of all told me that that's like how everybody around here figures it out. It's like 26, 27, 28. I've heard people say 30, I've heard people say 25. So I'm right in the middle at 20, 27. So just very simply 20, 25, 30, anything above like Anything above like a 12 car driveway or like if it's a parking lot or something really big, I'll have to do like a custom assessment for that. Um, I have some large parking lots that I charge more for. Uh, I got one parking lot that is 60 uh, and another parking lot, it's like a roadway that is for the year, it's like $2,700 for the year. So that breaks to $100 per time. And then down here, just this was something I just printed out so when I was doing all my stuff, I could have this and have something to refer to so I don't have to redo the math every time I just had this sheet. So that's all that this sheet that was, was just uh, a cheat sheet for me. All right, now this sheet shows all of my customers, their address, their price, everything you need to know. It shows whether they're gravel, whether they're seasonal, whether I have to shovel for them or not. All of that stuff is on this one sheet. So this is the like master list of my plowing. Obviously, all the names and addresses have been deleted. So I didn't want to give out my customer's information. So that's deleted. But normally you'd see the name and addresses and email and all that stuff right in there too. So let me quickly run through this and explain what's going on here. So stakes is the first column. And this is, I handwrite that in. Um, 
when I put out the stakes and I did that last year. So now I know how many people, how many stakes people need, unless they're blank. That means they're a new customer or they don't have any stakes at their house. And this way, when I scroll at the bottom, I know I need 326 driveway markers. Um, and like this one alone had 85. This is that huge driveway that I was telling you about. So what's really nice about this is I've got a column that says received. And then when I send them all out, I'll cross off their name. So when I'm sending out contracts, I literally cross their name off the list. So I know that I sent that contract or that I put a stamp on it and it's in the stack. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then when I receive the contracts, I put an X on the sheet here. I've got this printed out. So I will keep track of who I've got contracts back from and who I don't. And then now that it's November 1st, everything was due today, I'll give them a couple days and I'll start reaching out to people that didn't send them back and just see uh, if they're not hiring me this year or they didn't get the contract or whatever uh, and just check in with people. Then the next column is for gravel. As I said, I'm charging $5 for gravel. So it's just nice to know who's gravel. Uh, at this point, I know which driveways are gravel and which aren't. But it's nice to see, you know, how many I've got. 11 driveways are gravel out of 45. Next column is who is seasonal. Uh, and this is going to change this year. So as I go through this, I'll mark down on the sheet if anybody has changed, if they were seasonal last year and they're not doing it this year or vice versa. And then I'll update it on this sheet. And same thing with shoveling. Now, these two columns right here, per time and the season pre-tax, this is last year's prices. So you'll see here some red. The red is if I increase their price. Actually, it says it right here too. Increased in price because I will make their name red so I know who I've increased. Um, and last year I didn't have a ton of prices increased, only a few. But this year you'll see across the board I raised almost everybody's prices. It's just the way that it is. I redid my pricing structure. I realized I wasn't charging enough for shoveling and gravel, as I said. So those definitely went up and based on my uh, minimums going up, like a whole bunch of people went up just based on that as well. And what's nice about this is now next year I can look at it and go, okay, I just raised that person's price last year. I don't wanna raise it again. Uh, I really don't like raising people's prices two years in a row. This year is kind of a special case because uh, I changed my pricing structure. So everything kind of changed this year. Then it lists out everybody's seasonal price, which again is just times 27. So the last column is seasonal before tax. In New York State, plowing is a taxable service and we are 8% sales tax. So what I did for this year to be an incentive for people to sign up for seasonal was I offered to include the sales tax rather than charging that on top of their price. So basically they're saving 8% by signing up for the seasonal price rather than the per time. And in a perfect world, I'd love to get everybody on seasonal because I uh, actually sent out this really long letter explaining all of the work that goes on behind the scenes. Um, there's a lot of people who I don't think realize how much it actually takes to plow. Like there's more time spent not plowing than there is actually plowing. Between the time we're spending billing, doing all this stuff, I've got to I've got to make up all the contracts. I have to send them all out. I have to get them all back. I have to keep track of everything. I've got to install driveway stakes, and then all season long for six months of the year, I'm on call 24 hours a day. So I can't do anything. Uh, you can't like take a trip in the winter because you're on call all the time. It could just snow like you don't. There's no warning. Um, <laughs> And then how many nights do you go to bed early to wake up to see if it snowed or not? You know, there's a forecast of maybe, oh, one to three inches. Well, guess what? My contracts are two inches and up. So I have to get up at 1 a.m. to check driveways. Whether or not it snows, I still am working because I have to get up and check. And then I have to get up an hour later and an hour later and an hour later and keep checking. And then, of course, there's spring cleanup, which is a huge expense. Uh, so at the end of the year, we come in and we repair all the lawns if there's any damage. We bring in topsoil and seed, as well as if it's gravel driveway and any gravel gets pushed into the yard, we rake that all back into the driveway. So another huge expense that is not just plowing. So I actually spend way more time not plowing than plowing for the job of plowing. All right, now let me show you my contract really quickly. At the top here, it shows my name and address and my business, my email, my cell phone number, because I want everybody to have my cell phone number. 
And when I send out my contracts, I send them with a business card that has my cell phone number on it. So everybody has my cell phone number, so if they need to contact me during a storm, I'm available. Then this just shows all the information that you should have, the customer's information, uh, the price, so the per push price versus the seasonal price, and I explain about the discount 8% right here. And then right here is two half payments or one full payment, and tell them how much they owe. Then it goes into the terms and conditions of the contract itself, payment information, talk about property damage, liability, hold harmless agreement, which you should have, provision for default and cancellation, and then additional notes. So if people want shoveling or um, if they have any special circumstances that they need, I write that in there. And then here's where they sign and date. So I use Google Docs for this. It's free to use. You just go to Google and sign up for a Gmail and then you can use this and it's free. And what's nice about that is I can transfer it to my laptop and stuff without having to actually transfer files. It's all online. And same thing with those spreadsheets I showed you. That is Google Sheets, which is like their spreadsheet program. All right, now I'm just gonna quickly explain how I go through all the contracts and organize them so that I can keep track of everything for the year. So I've got them in a stack here. I've got some more here that I've got to open up still, but I've got this stack I'm gonna start with. And basically I just look at it and I go, okay, Here's the person. I go and I find their name on the list. I, I check off received. And then I look at it and I go, okay, this is a per push price. So I'm gonna put it right here. And this also happens to be email. So they want email billing, so that's gonna go there. My next stack is going to be people who want regular mail billing. And then I'll have a stack of seasonal contracts. That way I can keep them all separate. And if anybody paid seasonal half down, I'll put them on the top of the pile so that I can have that separately. Now when I get all these piles done, what I'll do is I'll take a piece of paper and I'll paper clip it to it. And I will write uh, per time or seasonal, whatever it is, and I'll write each person's name that's in this stack. That way I can know just at a glance, looking at the top, who is in the stack. So if it's people that I have to email bill, uh, it's all separate, and if it's people that I have to uh, send an actual physical bill in the mail, that's separate, and then people with seasonal contracts is separate. And what that does is if throughout the year I have to uh, look at their contract for any reason, um, it's just very easy for me to find it. And also then when I get new contracts, because some people will sign on in the middle of December or something, you know, somebody will move to town or for whatever reason, then I know I can just stick them in this pile and write their name on the list and they're added in. While I'm sorting through all this, take a minute Give the video a thumbs up down below, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you can be notified when I release new videos. Okay, so now I have them separated into four stacks. I've got per time email, per time regular mail, seasonal people that paid half down, and seasonal people that paid in full, which is actually the thickest stack of all, so that's good. So now that I've got that done and everybody's checked off on the received column, I know exactly who has not sent me the contract back yet. So as I said, I'll probably wait till the end of this week, maybe next week and start reaching out to those people. All right, so that was a lot of information. Hopefully it was all useful to you. Uh, if you have any questions or anything else you wanna know, please let me know down in the comments section below. As I said in the beginning, if there's another video that you want me to make to explain anything in more detail, I'd be happy to do that. If you made it to the end of the video, please go down below and click the thumbs up button. And if you're not already a subscriber, go down below and click that subscribe button. And there's a little bell next to it. Click that and click all. That way you get notified when I release new videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.